Before all these resources came in, we had local folks, individuals that had lost their houses, that were out there fighting the fire. The sheriff saw that the fire was coming up between uh, our neighbor's house and our house, and he turned on our hose and uh, stopped the fire. We're, we're very lucky to still see our house standing. This morning, on the doors of the command center, a series of handwritten notes appeared. The crayons and markers painting a picture of the wildfire through the eyes of the children. The fire is getting by the house, and the houses are getting burned. Their words are simple, but so telling. One of the notes reads, we haven't seen our house in three days. We don't know if you saved it, but thank you for trying. Every day when I drive through here, um, it's hard. This is, this is a special place for people, uh, for so many Texans and, and folks across the nation. You know, this is, this is our home. Out of this, something great is going to come. And the reason something great is going to come out of this is because of who we are as a community. In the meantime, the community is coming together at this donation center at the Bastrop Middle School to help them at least begin to put the pieces back together. What kind of difference is this place and the donations that have been supplied here making for you? Well, it's great help to, to be with people. It's obvious that Central Texans have opened their hearts and the generosity is overflowing as evident here in this warehouse. What'd you bring today? Clothes and shoes and little boys clothes. What inspired you to do that? Um, I, <laughs> we don't know if our house is gone and I just, we were able to get as much as we could and I just felt bad for the people that lost everything. I lost my dog in the fire and I need to help some, another critter so I'm sorry I'm gonna go help them if I can I'm just gonna put stuff up and down the road it's uh, insanely sad um, but thank God I got out with my kids and my kids are fine my wife's fine although Sandberg did not have insurance his 16 year old daughter made it out of the burning piney woods alive that's the main reason he still keeps his head up just look forward look at look at what you have not what you don't is, is key. We just lost every single thing. Jake, he didn't, I mean, it's just like, Mom, you have me? And I said, yes, and you're the most important thing in my life. And he said, yes, Mom, and you're the most important thing in mine. It's really sad that we lost it all, but at the same time, now it's time that I get to rebuild. My family, my family and I are safe, and that's all that matters. Yes. We will build Bastrop better. Our staff and students have just walked through these doors with open arms and big smiles on their face, just excited to see everyone um, and uh, just be a part of the healing process. We're going to get back in. We're going to move forward. It's going to be a better time.